Hello friends, we welcome you to the discussion on the market outlook. It's been quite a start to 2022 and I wish you and your family a healthy 2022. Now, from an investment standpoint, we always have been big believers of asset allocation. And this starting 15 days of January has taught us that asset allocation is the biggest winner when it comes to wealth creation in the long run. Now, what do I mean by that? Think of the last 18 months. We've seen central banks printing so much money that all asset classes, be it equities, commodities, real estate, bonds, they've all been repriced upwards. They've seen prices go up. Even if we look at the prices of goods and services which we are consuming, they are going up sharply. And that is leading to inflation. So one thing which we all should remember is we are living in times where inflation is a core uh, problem for all of us to meet with. And in creation of wealth, meeting inflation happens through the right investments and the right asset allocation. Now, it also involves you to take the right decisions as far as where should you be putting money without being too much worried about the markets. If you see the markets in India and in US, or the, around the world, because of the US Fed rate hike expectations of monetary uh, easing, which was going on turning into monetary tightening. In other words, the easy liquidity turning into not so easy liquidity. The markets are becoming volatile. Now, volatility should be your friend. And that's what we've been strong believers in. And hence, whatever is happening in the last 15, 20 days, do not let that worry you in terms of your investments. What you should be worried about is, is my asset allocation right? And that is the biggest focus area that you should have. Remember one thing, markets are a function of what the underlying companies do, what do investors do, what do central governments and central banks do. And you as an investor do not control everything. You can only control where your money goes and that is the most important aspect. What we believe is that this is an opportunity. Whenever markets correct, it becomes an opportunity to invest. And today, after the correction, which is not a significant correction, if we see the kind of rally that we've seen in the last 18 months, after a significant rally, such small corrections in the market are to be expected. In fact, we believe that 2022-2023 We'll see a bit of consolidation in the global and Indian markets because the valuations in India are not cheap. And the fact that previous two years returns have been so good, you have to moderate your expectation of returns in the market. But like I said, if inflation is going to be strong, you don't have a choice but to remain invested in asset classes which beat inflation. And as we know from the past history, the asset classes which beat inflation are equity, gold, and other such investments which tend to do better when inflationary uh, conditions exist. As you are aware, in inflation, the prices of goods and services go up. Equity stocks tend to gain benefit out of that as their sales and profitability grow. And hence, it is important to be in the right set of equities. We do believe that India is on the cusp of a very good growth period for the next four or five years. And from that aspect, Remaining invested in India, in Indian equities is important. And we've been big followers or big fans of asset allocation schemes. So the balance advantage fund category is a good category for you to add your allocations to. And also, if you look at from an investing standpoint, don't get worried by intermittent volatility in the equity markets. Think of investments in equity in the long run. There are five to 10 years uh, that you need to be invested in. And the next decade belongs to India because of its growing middle class population as well as working population. So across the board, if you see there is positivity across many sectors. If you look at banking, if you look at auto and the recent results as well, the results are showcasing promise. But because of global events, volatility may continue to happen and hence it is important. You stay the course as far as your investments are concerned. Don't get worried and don't get panicky. Do not 
take out money when the markets fall in fact always think of adding more money when the markets fall and that's exactly what the balance advantage fund category does and so whatever is happening in the market in the last 15 20 days is more on account of global expectations of interest rates rising or liquidity getting sucked out but that should not impact you or your portfolio because you are a long term investor and hence we would suggest that don't worry too much about the market because if india is going to move from 3 trillion dollars to 5 trillion dollars over the next few years that wealth will get added into the equity markets as well through the market capitalization creation for the underlying companies and you by remaining part of it by remaining invested will get the benefit as the markets keep growing and as you get the advantage of being invested intermittent ups and downs in equity markets are always expected because markets have a flow problem as well foreigners are selling why are foreigners selling because of the expectation that interest rates going up they're selling not just in india but rest of asia as well which can always turn in favor of india also if foreigners start investing and that time markets go up so the fact is that indian investors today are a very large important force we already seen dmat accounts in india go from 2 and a half 3 crores to 8 crores so indians investing in indian equities is also a phenomena which is happening and that is a good thing for the long run but the most important commitment you should make to yourself is do not allow you to get worried because markets have fallen and don't run to shift your investments because markets have fallen be patient with your investments in the long run equity markets will make money and we are in inflationary times if you want your wealth to grow you will have to have certain allocation into equities in the right manner thank you